Well, hello, hello, everybody. How's everyone doing today? Hello, Phoebe. Hello, Christopher. We are coming to you live. It is one o'clock, and today I have a very, I have a look. I have a very beautiful look. Phoebe, thank you for helping me. Um, I am about to interview somebody. We're gonna have a chat. We're gonna have a, a little chat. I did an interview with the one and only T.S. Madison, baby. And T.S. Madison is a goddess herself. She is here today to spill the tea on everything. Her TV show, her man-made body, and being a queer trans woman. So I'm gonna try right now to get her to join. Let's see if it works. So I sent the request. Guys, get ready for this. Get ready. We are waiting for the real T.S. Madison to join. Girl, it's on. So I'm just waiting for Miss T.S. Madison. Hey, Jared, how are you? Uh, hello to everybody at Proud FM. Coming to you live from the Glass House Studios. Is it on? Is this on? Is this bitch recording? Hi, well, baby. Well, how are you, darling? Oh, my God. I don't feel good at all today. I'm so sorry that I'm like, oh. I'm very sorry. I'm trying to make sure that the light is right. I don't know. I'm really yucky. John Paul. Oh. John Paul, baby, how are you? Coming to you live, it is the one and only T.S. Madison. Honey, ain't darling. no other person. Ain't no, ain't no other man, other man. <laughs> Hold yes. on, get it right. Okay, okay. I'll let you, are you good? Yeah, <clears throat> how's the lighting? Is it, is it decent? You look beautiful. The, your, everything, the, the piece, everything, sickening. <laughs> you so crazy, John. <laughs> John Paul, ladies and gentlemen, this is John Paul. John Paul has written a wonderful article about me. Um, I put the link in my bio. Oh, look at me. Oh, yes. Honey, 5,000 words. Yes, 5, look at 000. me. So I put the, look, so everybody out there watching, I've already put the, um, I put the link in my bio for you guys to watch, uh, read the article. And everybody, I've also posted it on my on my Facebook page, um, T.S. Madison. So it's there. Um, and everybody, um, excuse me, I'm a little bit under under the weather, but we shall make it do what it does. Mm -hmm. um, John Paul, thank you so much. You've been like a magnificent thing, you know, on this on this interview with me. Like you, you caught you, you messaged me. You got in contact with Pam, you interviewed me, and like you brought out some good stuff in the interview, you know, and you 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 breathed some inspiration into my heart, and I thank you so much for that. And then you showered me with such wonderful, <laughs> wonderful <laughs> gifts. Wonderful gifts. Well, you know, I wanted um I wanted to make you feel amazing because you have been so gracious. And you know, when I wanted to um create this piece with you uh, I didn't want it to be a typical beauty piece I wanted this to be authentic to who you are and everybody I, we're not going to get into every single detail on this live because we want you to check out the article yes. so um but you know at the end of the day everybody is joining us live today because they wanted to see you my darling and <laughs> everybody is just wanting you to spill the tea on yourself and maybe I know you're not feeling the best so maybe we'll do a, a quick one and you can just tell me a little bit about um, your TV show everyone's dying to know some details <laughs> especially up here in Canada Ooh. we want to know about the TS Madison experience well the the TS Madison experience was a great uh, it, it, it is it is a great a series that uh, WeTV has brought to life. Um, uh, we've already had our season finale. Uh, I want everybody to go. If you have not watched it, you can stream it on um, WeTV Plus, uh, WeTV, you know, on demand. Uh, you know, just put in the T.S. Madison. Hey, you can go to get your remote right now and say T.S. Madison. 
and it'll pop up on your screen and you can watch all of the episodes um from the series the series is about my journey you know trying to navigate it told my story me navigating you know through this entertainment industry and trying to rise through the top and not just rising through the top but rising with with the background that i have um i'm very i'm the first uh, african-american trans woman uh, to executive produce and star in her own uh, reality series. And, um, you know, that was a huge uh, historical moment, you know, for Black people and for Black trans women, uh, especially, you know, Black trans women with the uh, with the background that I have, because the majority of the trans women growing up from my era is, you know, you know, had to uh, deal the car, uh, uh, play the games with the cards that they were dealt. And so, you know, I just was trying to show people that no matter what it is or whatever obstacle that you're going through or whatever uh, you're faced with, still pursue your dreams, whether you are, whether it, it seems like it'll never happen, whether things cave in on you, whether the, the rug is pulled out from under you, continue, continue to follow your dreams because it, anything is possible. And, you know, that was the basis of the show. It had lots of heart, um, lots of family. It had a little drama, lots of laughter, and we're hoping that, you know, you guys come on through and give us a season two, because there's more story to tell. But in order to do that, I need you guys to be watching it and streaming it back on, um, on WeTV+. Plus. Yes, yes. And, you know, a lot of people in Canada, well, you know, don't have uh, access. And I think that you being on with me today will give a lot of people... Uh, the awareness about your show, your journey is one that, um, I mean, how long were we on the phone? We were on the phone for a long time talking about everything you spilled, um, authentically just shared with me your journey. And I, I loved uh, one of the things that really stood out for me was your relationship with Miss Mary. Yes. Miss Mary uh, and your dynamic on camera. Uh, it was just total joy for me. And I know for so many of your fans, and it was wonderful. What was it like to, um, you know, your journey with your mother and working with her on on your live? What was that like? Well, you know, my mother is really she's a she's a spitfire. <laughs> she's a character, and you know, she has her own you know identity and personality. But it was very important for me to incorporate my mother into the show because we we I want to minister to the LBGT youth who are um, who are having issues with their parents and having um and trying to get that connection with their parents and and stuff like that in order you know um to try to mend and build relationships and and show that it is possible that your your parent can love god um teach you about god raise you up in god and still you know go with you on your journey in 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 your in your transition and so, you know, it was it was important for her to be there, but also an important um, factor of the show. I incorporated my father in that too because my Stop. father is my father is definitely a rep a representation of what a lot of um, black men, a lot of men in general, but I can I can speak from my from the black experience because I'm I'm black, and so you know a lot of black men, black families um, have these types of fathers. And sometimes the roles are reversed. Sometimes it's the mother that's the way that, that my father was. My father is was not a part of my life, um, very ignorant to the life, to to the the in identity, you know, and still stuck in the space of, you know, trying to come to terms with, okay, my child is not only transgender, but my child is T. S. Madison, like, you know, a loud mm -hmm. live and in color of a, 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 a social media maven, a superstar. And I need to respect my child. I, I I never was a part of my child's life, but I want money from my child. And I want, uh. you know, all of this stuff. So he was definitely a representation of what lots of people are being faced with, with their parents. And so he was definitely a piece of that. And it was important to show the dynamics in between, like my mom and my dad and me being 40, 43 going on 44 i'm still faced with that so it's it's not just the youth but if i can show the youth that you can grow through this through this process you know anything can happen once again anything can, can happen
Uh, I love that you shared and you've been so vulnerable uh, and open right now. And again, when we talked prior, and I think it's so important um, for, for people in their youth, the youth in general, to A, have someone to look up to. I mean, you are, yes, you are the queen of the internet, but everybody that loves you, loves you for a reason, because we can look up to you. You inspire me, you inspire multiple people that are on this right now, specifically my friend Phoebe Melshore and Christopher Wadsworth, they're joining us live, they love you. And um, so many people love you. And at, you know, the youth right now is very, um, taken with all the social media. And I think it's very important to educate them. And I think that's what you've done. You, you have really educated and brought a level of, um, you made things real, you know, like, and relatable, you know, because growing up, a lot of people have issues and you've shared those with us. And I think it's great that you're, you're doing that. Now, um, I do want to talk to you about what it was like filming the show um, during COVID. What was what was that um, experience like? Um, filming the show during COVID was very scary because um, you know my mother had a, a COVID scare, um, and we didn't have, we our COVID uh, was very minimal because a World of Wonder, which is a, which is I love World of Wonder. I've been with World of Wonder for a very long time. Uh, World of Wonder is uh, the producers of RuPaul's Drag Race, Million Dollar Listing. Um, they produce many many television shows, and it, it was it felt so good to have you know, family, a family approach to produce my show and to let me come in as executive producer and bring them the content. And they were very protective of me because they love T.S. Masson. And they were very protective of me and they're very protective of their content. And so the staff came in, they, they sent a team of COVID specialists here. Um, we were COVID tested every, like at freaking every other day, we were COVID tested. Um, uh, child the way they had the COVID protocols like we would we couldn't film unless the house had to be sanitized every everybody uh they had a team in here wiping down tables and chairs like so it was a lot of people in here we were masked up it was just a lot but you know things still slip through because you know it, it is what it is it's COVID, COVID can happen you can get it at the grocery store so you know a little slip up here happened but we shut down production got ourselves together went back up in production and we didn't have any more scares, but the show was, it was very, it was very necessary to film during COVID because it, it gave me an opportunity to really sit down and really reflect over my life. There's a lot of things that happened during COVID, a lot of things that happened pre-filming that I'm glad did not get intermixed into the show because the show would have went in a totally different direction. And I didn't want the show to go, I wanted the show to go in the exact direction that it, it went. I wanted to be, I wanted to mean something to the world. I didn't want to just put content out that didn't mean anything or put out my life and it, and it didn't impact or make a difference in somebody's life. That's what I wanted to happen. And so COVID was a gift and a curse, you know, because COVID pushed things to the side and it, brought things in i mean i had a it was good for me you know I, I i can relate to that because it brought us together you know i i um i've been working myself during the pandemic and uh in similar types of environments with the, the testing and, and all that stuff so you know kudos to you and your production team and your family and everyone because you know not only did you find joy but you provided joy for all of us to watch you know it was very very um like i was glued i was so happy when pam uh she, when she shared with me the show because it really is something uh just an art it's art it, it is your life and i just love how real it was it wasn't um it's not like a typical reality show because mm -mm. you are not a typical reality star no, you are no. the one and only the one and Madison. only t.s madison and listen we need more trans representation on television. We need more positive stories. I know that the, that 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 the uh, reality television market is oversaturated with lots of drama, lots of fighting, you know, lots of just you know, um, made up foolishness for entertainment. I didn't want to come in the door like that. Like I wanted to come in with some inspiration. I got, I have a drama, but it's not that type of drama. And I wanted to show a family dynamic from LBGT people and a trans person, a black trans person achieving in the world. 
I wanted to do that. That was important. That was important for me because I remember me growing up trying to find that or try to see that. And, and I hope that my show gave girls inspiration. I hope that my show gave people, you know, the drive to be like, wow, I, I can see me in television. You know, I don't have a cookie cutter background. You know, I'm not the best. I'm not the smartest. I'm not the prettiest. I'm not the, but I can, you know, I can win. No, I know. I, I, you know, and I think that you've really um, come forward leaps and bounds. And I love uh, in, in our article that we talked and you said that, you know, you've found a, a beauty to yourself and it's something that we all struggle with every day. And, you know, I think that is just really important for all of us to understand that we're not all perfect. And, you know, having the uh, queer trans, as a queer trans black woman being in the public eye right now is it's so important. <clears throat> God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. I um, <laughs> I'm so sorry that you're not feeling well. I I, um, I want to move on, um, you know, because I know that you're you're tired and whatever. But no, I'm, I, I just... I'm going to do it. Listen. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to persevere. Come on, baby. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. So um, I wanted to give you um, a couple questions from your fans. So Phoebe Melshore from Toronto. She's a huge fan of yours. She Hi, wants... Phoebe. She's live with us right now. And she loves you very much. And she uh, wanted me to ask you, how in this world do you um, radiate such positivity? Because you inspire her. Uh, well, you know, it's hard because I could fall into such negative places if I, if I wanted to, you know. But I just decided there's enough negative stuff in the world. Now, I'm not perfect. I, I sometimes I fall to the wayside of getting getting wrapped up into some drama and stuff like that. But you know, the overall picture for me is I just want my spirit to live on after I'm gone. I want my I want my light to be remembered that I ha that I I put light into the world. Like I don't want somebody standing over over a, a, a monument of me or a, or a gravesite that I couldn't stand that bitch. That bitch was so messy. Or it, you know. You know, I want it to mean something. And positivity means something. Yes, people show up for negative stuff. Yes, they do. But people that really are inspired by you or people that are really see themselves in you, that's who you make your light shine for. For for not even the now, it's for the after too. Like when you when you completed your journey. Like you you're you're giving something and you're leaving your mark on it in the world and and for what you know that's really profound um thank you for answering that for phoebe yes thank uh, the you next... phoebe i love you back baby yes yes she loves you got her and i were just she actually yesterday we were talking because obviously we've talked so much and i i you know i've got uh, this article with pages of all this stuff and i got <laughs> i got so nervous and phoebe's like just relax and uh, she made me wear this little lace number underneath Oh and... my God, you look cute though. Come on, <laughs> honey, you're very fashionable. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, I wanted to talk to you um, about, um, so there's a question from Christopher Wadsworth. He's another huge, and I'm talking huge fan of yours. He wants to know, and he's watching right now. He wants to know, T.S., what is your favorite, he has two questions. What is your favorite moment in pop culture that has inspired you? Oh, my favorite moment in pop culture that inspired me. Ooh. It was so many moments in pop culture. Uh, it, would I be narcissistic if I say my moment in popular culture? <laughs> yeah, no, I love that. I love that. Um, would, would it be, I don't want to be narcissistic and say but my moment, but my moment in popular culture was uh, when I broke through. Like, I wasn't even trying to break through, but I broke through, like, you know, with something that was so une unexpected for me, like, no, who would have ever thought that new wave 22 inches? Yes, would have just would, would have just set the world on fire with a whole new with a whole new take on trans, like a whole n new take on it. Like, who would have ever thought that that would have happened? Like, because I wasn't even thinking that that would have happened. Like, and that just it just ran in, hit popular culture. You know, it was everywhere. It was just like everywhere. All that stuff was everywhere. And, and I, then I would see like people 
wearing my slogans or saying stuff that I've said and, and didn't even know that it came from me, you know, like, yeah. like I didn't, they didn't even know that I had influenced popular culture, like culture like that. And then, you know, you get some people like, well, who is she? And who is that? And like, girl, you don't know why you're really saying, yeah, you know, it's like, you don't know why you're saying lots of things. It's like, this lady Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> came here and did these things. So, you know, for me, I was just like, like me busting through popular culture, like that was one of the things, and and it and it changed my life. A hundred percent. And you know, you did a, you did a chat with Laverne Cox, and one of the things that I loved when you were talking with her is that you, T. S. Madison, are a star in your own right, and that is so profound. And I'm really proud of you for doing that. Like you, you've just built everything up authentically you've shared your journey and all of us love you we we honestly just love you. you and um the second part to christopher's question he loves and i love when you're in the car and you're driving and you're singing <laughs> some beautiful music he wanted to know what is your favorite throwback r&b song and can you give us a bar <laughs> oh listen my favorite throwback song is uh, everybody that knows me every person that really loves t.s madison knows that t.s madison worships Whitney Houston, okay? And my favorite throwback from Whitney Houston is, you give a good love, baby. You give good love, baby. You give good love from Whitney Houston. See, lots of people only know Whitney Houston for I Will Always Love You. Like, mm -hmm. it's, that, it's that generation of people that know her for, I, I, that's not my go-to Whitney song. I love Whitney for what she did to I Will Always Love You, but Whitney... Did, people really don't understand what Whitney Houston did for music. What she did for music, like what she did. And like Whitney Houston is the reason why, you know, we have Puff Daddy and all this stuff because, you know, Clive Davis, I know that was, Cli I know that was all that Whitney Houston money that Clive Davis gave to Puff mm -hmm. Daddy you know, to, to start whatever this little situation, that, you know, that he had going on. And so my mm -hmm. thing is, it's like, she's such, she was such a, she was just a, such a moment, such a, her, Michael Jackson, like they mm -hmm. were, they were necessary for music to give, to do what it, it, it does now, you know, so. So many things. Uh, so but they say somebody yeah. said that she was pop and she was yes yeah, she was R and B. You can't listen. Whitney has albums, tons. She has albums. Even though, even though Mariah has more albums than Whitney, you know because Mariah made more albums than Whitney. But if I had my choice of Whitney or Mariah, it's most definitely Whitney. But we're gonna still respect Mariah too because Mariah is she is. They were in that era. Mm -hmm. The Trinity was Mariah, I mean, it was Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, and Celine Dion. That's the vocal Trinity right there. Total icons, absolute icons, which you are. Well, I'm, I'm growing, I'm going that way. Yes, I'm growing to that. Hopefully, why? Well, yeah, I'm an icon. Shit, <laughs> you are an icon. Now, um, you know, one of the things that uh, that really authentically made me laugh. Um, in this entire process with you over the last couple of months and getting to know you from outside of the, um, you know, the, the social media and everything um, was someone sent me a video and I hadn't seen it. And I just want to know um, what happened with you and UPS? Oh, girl, listen, <laughs> so this was, you know, that the throwback video that came up. I was waiting for, okay, like I have a, now you know, honey, I have a, an extensive past and men love me. Okay? Yes, we do. And so I've received gifts from, you know, gentlemen and a gentleman sent me, uh, thank you, mommy. My mommy made me some soup. Thank you. Oh, is it, can I say, is Miss Mary there? Yes, yeah, she ain't got no hair on, honey. She can Miss Mary, we love you so much. Oh, God. I, I, <laughs> Tell I, him, I, hey, mommy. Hi, how you doing? Miss Mary. That is John Paul, honey. <laughs> how you doing, my love? <laughs> darling, darling. Oh, my God, Miss Mary. Uh, it, it, 
Every, I just love you so much. You, she, you made brought... me some, she made me some soup to try to help me get better. Oh, Miss Mary, God, we love you so much. Oh, God, my heart. I laughed, I cried, I laughed, and I cried some more with your show, with both of you. So epic. Um, God. Yeah, she tried to get me to. She tried to get me better, child. I don't know. It's just, uh, it just well, came up. Yeah, she, okay, so listen, I know we we on topic, but I'm gonna steer it. So she's thinking that this, I got the vaccine. Uh, I got the vaccine uh, on the 14th of April, April 14th, mm -hmm. two days before her birthday. So I got the vaccine, and then when I got the vaccine, I was okay. Like I, the only thing that happened was my arm was sore, mm -hmm. and you know. Whatever. Um, but she said it's the vaccine. I don't know. I don't think that it's the vaccine because I am going to get my second shot. I am going to get my second shot because I have to work. Like, I need to get mm -hmm. back to work. I need to get back in the motion, the motion of things because I want the world to get back into the motions of the stuff. Like, yeah, like I, I'm, I'm this. We would have did this in person. I'd have been in. I would have been in Canada sitting on yep. your couch in Canada or something like I'm. Uh, it's I'm over this like I know it's it, draining it, yeah um it's a, it's I, I can't get them that's why the Queen Supreme Court has been like on a definite hiatus because I cannot I don't like that cyber stuff mm -hmm. I like it but I don't like it for the things that I do like I need connection like I need mm -hmm. touch I need I need emotion I need I need to feel like I need to feel out the energy like you know, and you can't. I can't read it over Skype. No, no. There's a, a lag and a delay, and I don't like it. So you know. I know, but you know, take take solace in knowing that you bring us so much joy. Honestly, I I I can't agree with you more. I am. Oh, they say okay. They told me to get back to the UPS story. Okay. Oh, okay, fine. UPS. All right. So my guy friend, he had sent me. Um, this is when the uh, he sent me a Mac Mac book. Was it a MacBook Pro or was it a he sent, he sent me so many nice gifts. Yeah. Mama, was it a MacBook Pro or was it my yeah. iPad? It was the yeah. iPad because the pencil came. So I was I was waiting and I'm, I was I was getting ready to cuss them out because I called <laughs> and I was I was tracking them. I'm like, where did what you know how to be say, Where y'all at? Where the fuck is y'all at? You know? <laughs> so it was very much like, where are y'all at? Like I keep saying this or whatever. So I started cussing them out. Like I at them and everything, cussing them out. Like you hoes can kiss my mother, you know. And as soon as I said that, the doorbell rang. I know. And, we, <laughs> and that was not planned. It was not rehearsed. I can't. Nothing. That. This was before I had ring. You know. Now I know if you're pulling out in the yard, you can hear. It. I know if the yeah. trees and wind is blowing. Yeah. The, <laughs> the, you know, the, it's giving me all these notifications. <laughs> And so the, the UPS truck pulls up, and while I'm cussing them out, they ring the door. I was like, UPS can kiss my mother. And, and as soon as I said it, the doorbell said, Ding dong. And I was like, Who is it? And I was like, Oh. So I felt kind of bad, right? I did feel bad. I, feel, I felt bad because I was like, Oh shit, I just cussed them out. Honey, I go to the door, I get my package or whatever, and I'm, I'm, all, I'm back nice. You know, back nice. Like, yeah, girl, you know, sometimes you can make a mistake and, you know, it, it's all good, whatever. <laughs> Opened up the package and my iPad was still not in there. It was only oh. the pencil. So I went back to cussing they ass out again. You motherfucking hoes is just got <laughs> my shit together. Fuck y'all, bitch. You know, just cussing them back out because you, you, I'm still missing the iPad. You know, still? The, the pencil in this big old box. The box is so big and the day of the, 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 the pencil for the iPad is in the box. And I'm, I went back to cussing them out, girl. I was you like, know, you bitches. I, I, you, <laughs> you text me last week and you're like, my package is missing. UPS lost it. I thought you were playing a joke on me. I thought you were playing a joke on me, but uh, because I saw the video, anyway, it was quite well, no, that amusing. was a that was back then, but they, but yeah. it was, it was, but we we got the package. And speaking yes. of packages, yes, baby, yes. you have sent me. These people have you sent me some of the. I want to go through some of this stuff. Like, yes, I, let, I'm let's. Dying. I, I'm I want. Dying I want you. It. I want you to know that I sent you stuff in in that article. 
I want you to feel like the beautiful, queer, trans, black woman that you are and that you're loved and that you're beautiful. And I wanted you to get the best of the best from me to shine. Um, and, and that was my intention uh, with sending you that stuff. You know, you, you shared with me about your skin and I sent you the hyperpigmentation yeah, because, tips listen, from Vivian. Yeah, listen, I'm not ashamed of it. Like I have hyperpigmentation, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of really the real only reason why I, I, I wear foundation. So I have hyperpigmentation here, you know, like right in here. And majority of the, uh, and it, it might be because I'm fat. <laughs> no, don't say It that. might be, I don't know, because uh, some of the big girls in my family, not my mom, because my mom doesn't have it, but some of the big girls in my family, they have like hyperpigmentation here. Mm. And I work on it so hard to try to get rid of it. Like I've, I buy and use, and then I mean everything, 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 like everything. And, and I will tell you this, <laughs> That you know, sometimes that mommy, can you give me a tissue, please? Oh. Sometimes that's a thing for me. Like it's a thing where um, I've felt ugly, or I've been like, well, why does it? You know, why? Why does all the? Uh, why are all the other girls pretty? Thank you, thank you, mommy. Oh. Like why? Why are all the? Uh, oh. Why are all the other girls pretty? And you know why did like why? Okay, I, I I have a cute face, but I have all of these these things like that I just want to get rid of like I, I just you know and it's like I see everybody all the other girls with perfect skin and this and the other and then I have this is like I don't have bumps and all of that type of stuff but it's just like, I have that you know mm -hmm. and so it just makes excuse her she didn't mean to do it I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I love it no, <laughs> we love it. It's all good. Don't worry. We we love both of you so much. You know, dear God, Miss Mary, hold on. Mm. And so, you um, I mean, I felt that way, and um, I look at the girls and I'm like, damn, why do I have to put on like foundation? Like, I want to just put on eyelashes. I want to just put on lipstick, or I just want to mm -hmm. put on pressed powder. You know, I have to put on foundation. I've been using everything, like everything. I, I go to the dermatologist. Um, they give me all of this uh, uh, hydroconique or whatever. Hi hi hydroconone. Hydroconone, and they give me this stuff. Sounds and like I'm a dry always doing it. And I'm like, well, maybe I'm not doing it right. Like, what is it? Like, you know, now I want to do micro, micro like needling. Yes. Like, I want to do everything because I want it. Oh, I want it to go away. You know, but. Well, I said, I said, fuck yes. it. And then I said, fuck it. And then sometimes, sometimes I just say, fuck it. And I, I get on, I get on live and I'll have my bonnet on and I show people like, yeah, this is something that's probably insecurity for me. It is probably insecurity for me, but I don't let it make me feel that way no more like mm -hmm, i know what mm -hmm. i'm gonna give with my with, with with the makeup when i put my makeup on and even with my makeup off i have my wig on honey i'm, I'm still fish bitch you know but it's just that i because i know that there are ladies that my, my some of my aunts have it like some of my aunts like my dad's sister had it here like it was here dark yeah. here mm -hmm. you know and so I guess it's just what it is. I don't know. Well, what I've sent you is uh, from a Canadian line called Vivier, and it's a medical grade, pure medical grade. Uh, so that's how you say that. Vivier. Vivier. Uh, One pharma. moment. Let me let me let the girls see Vivier. How doing? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I just very time myself. Is it one for her? I I sent some for you and for her for uh, with everything. Look. Now this thing came in this big gigantic big. <laughs> yes! box. The box is so big. Like this box is huge. <laughs> this is a huge box. Thank you, John Paul, honey, the beauty guru, and Vivier. So I'm gonna go in here and just open this box. I'm gonna lean it down while okay. you can see me going inside the box like this. Hold on, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So I love your Here's top. The... It's so uh, very beautiful. It is so much stuff. Listen, this stuff is going to help you. It's going to combat your hyperpigmentation. I sent you the luxurious uh, skin sets that will 
substantially help you and I'll, I'll continue to um, work my magic with you and, and, and support you with your beauty journey because this is a new journey for you and you deserve the best of the best, honey. Look at this. This is Vivian. Yes. So oh, oh, my God. It's so much. So, so I'm going to open yeah. one of these bags. Look, listen, you gave me this. <clears throat> this so, look, serums. Yes. Serums, honey. Oh, my God. Wait. Look. That's Neck green cream. Babe, oh that's the jam. That cream is the Grenzine line is a super powerful line. It's uh, for your neck, but the body cream is what I thought for you. It, uh, it it's brightening. It's tightening. It's exactly what you uh, wanted. And body uh, cream, body cream. You're gonna Look, just okay. be and obsessed. Then, then you gave me some um, eye cream too. Yeah, I the think. Vivier Eye Grenzine Eye. It's my, what okay. I use. It's fabulous. So I'm and gonna you know, um, I'm gonna open because I, I think you gave me a cup. So I'm gonna open one of these these boxes. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open one. Mommy, stay out of my stuff, girl. <laughs> so um, so that's skincare. Okay. Take your time. If you have any questions, just put me a text, and uh, I, I will am. help you. And, and so anyone that's watching, this. you know, yes. And anyone watching, there's always things that you can do to help with your skin. If you're struggling, uh -huh. D DM me or D DM TS, and we can uh, we can help you. Well, well, listen, world. you got to DM you got to DM John Paul because he knows. <laughs> so look, okay. So this is a toner. Yes. Um, this is a this is a cleanser. Um, this is uh eye cream mm -hmm. oh so you gave me all oh my god you gave me all this stuff this is retinol i gave you the retinol retinol um but this is daily be... daily age defier moisturizer oh yes um <laughs> this yes. is antioxidant serum <laughs> oh my god you gave me bags of this stuff I, oh my listen god. You just take your time. You don't have to go through all of it now. I just wanted you to open it with me so we could chat and talk about it and just know that this is going to really help your skin. And at the oh end of the God, day, I'm, I'm, mommy, will you stop burping? Miss Mary, come out <laughs> and say hi. I'm, stop I'm burping. Sorry. Jesus. This is sunscreen. Sunscreen. Okay. We are in the age of um, auto. Uh, it, it, the sun is just causing so much damage and, and, you know, SPF is something that you definitely need to use every day, Miss TS. Um, yeah, as a so, as a black woman, see, and yes. this is what the, here's the thing. You know, we black people got a joke, and I'll tell you the joke. The black people say, "Oh, how the white people go out there and get sunburned? We don't get none of that." Uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> so we have the SPF too. We need the SPF thirty. Okay? Yes, Min minimum, minimum. The um, minimum of 30. It's very important. Very important to... Mommy, uh, stay out of my bag. Okay, here. You can have this bag right here. It's one of them. One bag is for you, girl. But these enjoy. are my bags, Miss Mary, yes, okay? Yes, yes. Stay out of my bags. Well, Hold on. You know, this is something else. Oh, no. This is, this I, is the I, bag. So, so we've got the Vivier. And then the second thing, uh, what did I want to give you? What'd she say? She said, tell John Paul I said thank you. because uh, she, she said she knows one of those. Oh, thank you, babe. I love that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The next line that I, I gave you uh, another shipment. This was from a company called Iconic London. Um, mm. Have you checked that one out yet? No, I, told, I said I was going to open this stuff up with you. All right. Well, yes, yes, yes. Here, here, here's another big box. This came here's from another big box. England <laughs> for you. Iconic London. Oh, my God. Look. Babe, this is the this is. You just deserve the best. And this is a high quality, amazing line uh, out of the UK. Um, they recently launched in uh, Canada at Sephora. Uh, it's just an incredible brand. And they've got like, I also sent you, I sent you brushes. I sent you all of these brushes as well. I sent you uh, their uh, brow silk kit. I sent you the luminous powder. The luminous powder you're going to love. Um, and oh my god, I don't even want to open it. It's so cute. I don't even want to bust it open. Ah, uh, Miss Mary want to know. Miss Mary wants to bust it open. Miss Mary can't touch the makeup. No, no, no. That's for you. <laughs> I know it's for me. I know. You heard him, Mama. He said it's for me. <laughs> yes, Miss Mary. 
Oh, yes. Oh, my God. It is loaded. Brushes. Babe, just oh, my enjoy God. it all. Oh, my God. Oh, and they're they're in Sephora in the United States as well. And honestly, um, iconic London is the my my like I love it. I also sent you the um, illuminator. There's an illuminator specifically for your skin tone, and it will highlight the hell out of your cheekbones, your décolleté, your uh, arms, uh, the bridge of your nose, everything. So you're a makeup artist, or you can use it daily. And it's just fabulous, you know? It, it's all about- um, Oh, here it is, Illuminator. Yes. yes! Oh my God, I got it. Oh, it's so low, it is so much in here! They're watching right now. They're, they're on, they're yes. watching. Yes, thank you, Iconic. Thank you, Iconic, thank you. Oh my God, it is so much in here. Yes, darling. You know I'm gonna post it. Everybody, I'm gonna post this no video rush. on my YouTube. I'm gonna post this video on my YouTube. Uh, I want you, John Paul, to send me the list I will. so that I can make sure that I tag everybody on the YouTube so that they can, you know, see these products and get these products. Of course. Because um, uh, I, listen, I love it. Look at that. Look at oh. So you take your time with that, and we can maybe do another chat in a couple of weeks when you're feeling better. We can really go into uh, creating some makeup looks for you. Uh, and really uh, um, taking the time to make you feel like the glamorous woman that you are. Then the other lines that I sent you was the Rosé Toronto. They're, uh, a... <laughs> Rosé Toronto is an incredible brand. Uh, it's like a sustainable skincare line. It is really? out there. Yes, she's watching right now. She's watching right now. Um, hey, Rosé! Come on, Rosé Toronto. Come on, Rosé. So Rosé, I, I discovered them when I was looking for sanitizer, and they uh, actually had uh, a whole line of products, which I had no idea about. They have, my favorite thing out of theirs is a, they have a rose water mist, which is fabulous, and it just refreshes the face. Um, you know, when you're shooting long days, and when you're feeling a little bit down, whatever, you just give yourself, look, like a little, little. Oh, a little my God. Spirit, Come on, honey. miss. Oh, I'm going. Yes. I'm about to get it. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, it smells good. It's amazing. It's lavender. Right. Even the rose. box. Can you, listen, here you go. Can y'all smell the box? Smell the box. <laughs> Look, it smells so good. Look, I love that it comes black like this. And it says rosé right there on the on the card. And then, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, woo. Come on, rosé. Where is that mint? Ooh. I love Babe, that rosé so that, Toronto. That, that is a um, sanitizer. So you can spray it everywhere. To yeah, it's the organic hand, organic yes. hand sanitizer. Um, sanitizer liquid, organic hand sanitizer. Okay, yes, I so, need so, this around here. So you got some makeup and you've got some some products that will you can use around the house. Um, but you know, watch Miss Mary because Miss Mary might steal this. Miss Mary too. is. Uh, they sent me some stuff in here. I wanna. So don't so that is uh don't you don't have to open it all right now. I, I know it's, I'm over I've overwhelmed you, but I just needed you to feel loved and that's what I wanted to do. That was my intention. This is uh oil for your face. We can go through that. I also sent you one of these beautiful rollers of theirs. So we can offline we can do a little chat and we can figure all that out. But just enjoy, okay? Really, really enjoy. Um <laughs> you don't have to go through everything. Are you okay? Are I you found feeling? the mist. I found you, the mist. Yes, let's miss together. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Isn't it great. And it re refreshes your makeup. You know, so once you've done your iconic look with your beautiful powders and illuminators, you want to refresh your makeup. You can do that. You know. So that's oh. that's from a, a Canadian sustainable brand that is um, uh, a really absolutely. An incredible brand. Um, Yalda is the owner, and she is on here right now. So I she's know. Thank very... you, Rose. Thank you, Rose. Listen, that mist just felt really good. I gotta do it again. I'm sorry. Okay. Do it. Do, do you feel? Do you feel better? Oh, yes. Mm. Amazing. <laughs> and then finally, I sent you something that you absolutely love. Have you opened the the, the box? The box. <laughs> Jada Shada Hudson, hello, darling. Woo! Woo! So, 
That is the your Ruby. What is it called? Mac, honey. Yeah, scream. Mac. Scream, baby. Scream. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen, the box is loaded, honey. Loaded. The box but, is so loaded. I got to do I'm trying to leave it down. The look, box is so loaded. I can't even lift it up. It's, it's loaded look, up. Loaded. Look in, <laughs> ah! I know oh you're on God. a time it constraint. Says, listen, I got to yes. read it. I have to read it. You have to. I have to read it. It says, Dear T.S. Madison, we hope you enjoy this selection of products for your upcoming Instagram Live. Love, Mac Canada. Thank you, Mac. Woo. Yes, the Ruby Woo, baby, the Ruby. Yes. We yes, sent you, ma'am, honey. Ooh, you, ooh, I sent you. I sent you. You told me ooh. that you loved it. Look, I sent you all of this. This, this, all of this stuff. You are gonna just explode and just enjoy. I sent you some brushes. I sent you some amazing things. So, um, you know, you take your time uh, and just enjoy. Um, but while you're looking through the Mac stuff and you're looking, talk to me really quickly because I know we got to wrap up very soon. What is going on? Uh, how was the experience with Drag Race? Oh my God! Listen, let me tell you something, Mac Canada. I love. Listen, Rose, Vivier, iconic, Mac Canada. Like I. Thank, thank you guys so much for this. Like, I, my, my makeup arsenal is already, I just got to get a new vanity in the bathroom. I, just, I, I need a MAC section, an iconic section, a Vivier section, and a rose section. I just need a section. I just need sections now, all these things. Oh my God, look, eyelash. I, I, okay, I got to talk to you about drag race, but eyelash glue, lashes. Ah, oh, MAC come on lashes i told you i i just yes I, oh my god do, do you feel radiance, do you feel face the and love? body sheer radiance honey come on come on oh my god i'm Are gonna be happy? in this stuff all Are, day. Are, you, Mama. Are you good? you can no don't come in here because i don't want you going through my stuff <laughs> she told me she coming no no, oh, I, I we we really want to see Miss Miss Mary, but listen, she's coming, but she's gonna Miss come Maddie. and go through my stuff. You know, listen. So it's filming Drag Race. Drag Race was like that was a bit, that was definitely a dream come true for me. I'm I'm not I'm not scared to say it, and I'm not above saying that it was a dream come true for me. I love this pencil. It was a definitely a dream lip glass. Come on, lip glass. Come on, lipstick. It was definitely a dream. Ruby, whoa, my lipstick! I know! Y'all know. Dream. Listen, this is my favorite. This is my favorite lipstick. This is my favorite lipstick. Oh, my God. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not putting it on right now because I don't want to put it on right now because I'm going to wash but, it off. Uh, so we sent you the, the Glow Play uh, the, the blush. I sent you the uh, amazing lip pencil to match. So the whole kit, the whole kit. So, um, but yeah, quickly tell tell us about Drag Race and like how was Rue and that. You, Listen, you everybody episode. knows everybody knows that I love uh, RuPaul. RuPaul is an icon to me. Me RuPaul too. RuPaul is a person that I've looked up up to for you know since I was a teenager. Yes, RuPaul is older than me. She is mother, <laughs> but I looked up <laughs> to RuPaul when I was a teenager and young, and you know trying to, uh, you know. That was who I saw. And then, you know, I, I, I don't know. I remember me sitting on the floor in Indian style watching TV and saying to myself, one day I'm going to, I'm going to know that person. I'm going to be friends to that person. I'm going to know that person. And boom, I manifested it. It happened. And I, I remember the first season of Drag Race. And I used to watch it, like, with, with my girlfriends. And I, and I bought my house here. And I've been in and I've been in this house for 14 years. And I bought this house here and I remember coming home. Here she go, y'all. Here she go. Here she go, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> here she go. Miss Mary Live. Oh. Here she go, y'all. She here got she go. For Canada. You know, How y'all doing? Here she go, y'all. Oh my Listen, god. Listen, you y'all started sending me gifts and makeup and stuff. Girl, here she go. 
she's coming here to gather my goods, honey. She's going to cry. Not I gather. love you both. Listen, not, not I, I want to take it. She go, see, girl. I, there she is. I share. You share in with me. Yeah, she go. Not together. Just to share where you can teach me how to use certain Miss things. Mary, what is, your, <laughs> what is Miss Mary's favorite cosmetic? What's your favorite cosmetic? Miss Mary, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, this was, um. T.S. Madison has taught me how to use more makeup. I used to just use a little eyeshadow, a little uh, eyelash, and I'm done. And a little blush, and we, I'm done. And lipstick, I'm, I'm done. But now I done learned how to use foundation. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> what that other stuff? The uh, primer. Primer. Concealer. Uh, concealer. Contour. Mm -hmm. Contour. Contour. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> eyelashes. I just don't like back wings. Yeah. So you see the la the eyelashes he sent me from Mac. These are I love these. But you had some on like that at um Dragways where I said you looked very pretty. Yes, with I did have I don't some like big lashes, but them you looked very. I did pretty. have some lashes like this on at Dragways, but they were a little bit bigger. You looked pretty. And with they them. were like this, the way they've individualized the lash right here, like they yes. were like that. And so you know, now listen. <laughs> Drag Race was an amazing experience for me because I had manifested that. And when I manifested that, what I, I I I remember watching it here, and I always get excited like a kid in the candy store when RuPaul bends that corner and it says do 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 do, do. and she said <laughs> and standing, like listen, I'm able to while I was able to sit there, I was I was able to I was trying to contain myself, like contain it. Hold on, mommy. I was trying to contain myself, like contain it, mm -hmm. while she was coming around the corner. So I sat there. I was like, Madison, don't queen out. Madison, don't, don't, don't fan girl out. And as much as I've been in RuPaul's presence, I've been in RuPaul's presence so many times. We've done a song together. We done been all in the rooms together, like just me and him. You know, just us. You're having a good time together, you know. But it's just like it was something about the drag race. It's, it was just. Girl, she just came around that corner, and I was like, contain yourself, girl. You're in the judges' panel. Contain yourself, girl. You contain yourself. And when she came out there, she walked, and she said, the irrepressible T.S. Mazin is here. And, you know, it was just, mm. it just was a, it was a, a really big moment for me. I loved it. I loved being a, a guest judge on Drag Race. The fans appreciated me. Like, I got voted number eight out of the top ten drag race people from all the seasons so that meant a lot to me you know like top 10 i was number eight like out of all the judges that they've had over 14 seasons mm -hmm. i just got my foot over there in the door and they're just like they, they really the fans really enjoyed enjoyed me being a judge mm -hmm. and i was like ah, i want to come back and snatch so game they'll have me back and they did snatch game, and uh, that yeah, was because epic. Silky Nutmeg Ganache, she had, she had, and I didn't know that they were setting me up for the snatch game week. I didn't know that. So when I got there, it was, it was snatch game week. I was like, oh yes, you know. Yeah. And so Silky Nutmeg Ganache did me for snatch game on season eleven, and I didn't know. I didn't. I I I went and did a little vignette for her for season eleven, but then I didn't know that they were going to let me be a judge for season thirteen. I was like, oh mm. my god, yes. So. Like I said, COVID was a gift and a curse because, you know, there were a lot of people that wasn't traveling during COVID or whatever. And they called me and said, T.S., what's up? What you doing? It's time. Come on. And that's what it was. And it all aligned up with the timing that my television show was being filmed. I didn't know that my show was going to be greenlit. And that this is why people have to understand something about manifestation and about timing. Okay? Manifestation and timing. I didn't know that you know that it was going to be where people was were um where it was going to happen all at the same time like that happened then the release of the movie that I'm in comes yes. out so like all of this stuff like like all of this stuff happened like mm -hmm. all in that in that let me finish mom because oh, I know you're ready noise? to get it. It, it happened Canada. all in that wavelength. Like I did, I had no idea that my show was going to air um, March fourth. I didn't know that my episode of Drag Race was going to be like all of this stuff. Just it just lined up, and when it lined up, it all just 
unfolded right there for the world. And, you know, and all the lies and all the things that were told about me and all the negative stuff that was said about me, like for all the year, like it, that wave came through and shed every hate. And, excuse me, mom. Say it. It, shed, it shed every hate and bitch mouth. They didn't know what to say because it was back to back to back to back of all the things that I had been working on, all the stuff that I had been making. And what what people don't know is just because I move in silence and just because you don't see it happening now don't mean that it's not happening. You just got to stay the course and trust the process. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. Mm, you said my words very well. There she go, y'all. There she go, John Paul. There she go. She want to talk to you. There she go. Yeah, I, was, I was just going to say that everything my child has ever said, I taught them from young to write down, write your vision down. I'll say that to anybody. Write your vision down and, and let it run. Make it plain. And then just because you don't see anything happening at that time, it don't mean it ain't happening. That's the same way with God. We, we pray and we don't see nothing happening then. And then we go to going all kind of way, but no, stay the course. Mm -hmm. Stay faithful, stay stay patient. And while you're waiting, ask God, what is he trying to teach you? But this one, everything this child has ever spoke out and said to do has come forth. Everything Boo has written down on that vision board has come forth. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I make you. vision boards every year. And, I, and, and let me tell you something. When I walked in there and looked at my vision board just recently, I, I gagged. Wow. Because I, I wrote this stuff down in 2014, 2015, like things like on the vision board. And when I went and looked at it, I said, this happened, this, this, that, this, 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 that, that. So that means this is coming. That means that's coming. That means that's coming. Like, you know, all yeah. of this stuff. And I tell people all the time that follows me, Make sure that you write this stuff down. You believe it. When you write it down, you know it. Mm -hmm. You wait, write it down wait, 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 and you know it. You don't know when, you don't know how, but you know it. Mm -hmm. And you write that stuff down and you put it there and you just, you, it's, it, you cast it out. And because you know the fish will come. You put good bait out there. Good bait is good energy, good aura, being good. You know, you know. When it said cast your bread on the water, and in many days it will return. You don't know how it's gonna, which direction it's gonna come back, but cast it out. So the bread that's being casted on the water is good energy. You know, good, good, because karma isn't always bad. Mm -hmm. Karma is not always bad. You know how people say, "Oh yeah, I'm a, you gonna get your karma." I sure did. I sure did because I know I was doing good about what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I know I'm doing good in what I'm standing and doing. So, yes, I did get my karma, and I am receiving my, my good karma. Yes. Y yes, you no are. No matter what was going on around or whatever you thought that was deterring me from wherever it was that, I, that you thought that I was going, I still got there. And you I'm did. still on that path to getting. So you only saw me scrape the, the, the top, honey. I haven't even reached the, 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 the bottom. And, and a delay... A delay is not all. Is not always a denial. It's just a delay. I love yeah. that. That is so profound. And you know, I, I just to wrap things up because I know we uh, we have to get going. But I, I I just wanted to say that you know, hearing you say this and seeing everything that you've accomplished, it's very inspiring to all of us. You know, I've even seen with myself as a beauty expert, seeing myself trying to. I've created a platform. This is my platform. This right. This minute. I've manifested into getting to a place that I've always wanted to be like sitting here talking with you. And there's so many haters that are very close around us that we need to be very careful of. And um, we need to keep being authentic and keep our word and just keep on going. And I just think that you're so inspiring. And I just wanted to thank you for, for everything that you've uh, shared today. And I, I really am very thankful um, for both of your time today. And I, honestly, Miss Maddie, I just want you to enjoy all the products. And um, thank you for everything. It's just fabulous, you know. And um, anybody that's watching us right now, um, it was an absolute pleasure to interview this wonderful woman and <laughs> to share. And what is his name? Paul? John Palmer. John Paul. 
Yes. No matter whatever the haters are doing around you, you just, what you do to keep on going forth and higher, you do the right thing no matter what everybody else is around you doing the wrong thing, you keep doing the right thing and the right thing will keep coming to you. That's right. Miss Mary, thank you so much. I love you guys so much. Now, <laughs> um, I, I, we're getting some comments. So we need to do this again when you're feeling a little better and, um, um, uh, you know, it's just uh, mind boggling. Um, I want to, <laughs> I, I want to finish um, Miss Maddie with um, two things. First, what are the three words that you always say? They're not words, but it's, but it's a phrase that I mean. Oh, your phrase. A, yes. Be yourself, bitch. <laughs> Step your pussy up, honey. Get a job. Own a business, bitch. Suck it up. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Such a pleasure to um, chat with you today. Everybody, um, be sure to go into T.S. Madison on her Instagram and click the link in the, her bio and read the entire article. You will be uh, just completely enthralled by her story, what she shared with us. And um, thank you, all of you, for, for joining us today. And um, thank you, Miss Maddie. You, thank Love you, you so much. Thank you, Rosé. Thank you, Mac. Thank you, Viv. Yay, honey. Thank you, Iconic. And John Paul, thank you so much. Love thank you, very, you much. very much. I love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. Tell okay. them bye, Mommy. Bye, bye. everybody. <laughs> and bye, thank Mary. you for my gift, too. Oh, here she go. I told bye. you. <laughs> okay, bye, my love. Bye, bye everybody. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>